Peter Jackson dips into his old Lord of the Rings bag of tricks and pulls out an excellent documentary in They Shall Not Grow Old. They Shall Not Grow Old is a wonderful documentary from Peter Jackson. He actually revised some of the magic he had with the original Lord of the Rings trilogy in this one. And it is kind of a step away from kind of what we saw with The Hobbit. He shows a lot of restraint in how he tells the documentary or how he makes the documentary. Part of the beauty of it is it uses all archival footage that he went back in and colorized for the film. And what happens is the documentary opens on kind of a 4-3 format to start with. It looks like you're watching something on an old-style television where it doesn't fully take up the whole screen with a lot of black on the sides of it. And then about 10 minutes or so into the, the film, what happens is you see like a shift. It's almost like he's leading up to you, kind of telling you about what happens before the war starts. And then once it shifts to the footage of the people actually at the trenches, it takes that normal aspect ratio and stretches it and as part of the stretch it then goes from black and white into color and you're just able to to feel see what people are going through at this time it is all real footage of soldiers actually at the front in world war one and it does a very good job of conveying their emotions the happy sadness the camaraderie and just the overall dread of what these people were having to go through in such a horrible style of warfare that trench warfare was at the time because we were in a situation where uh, firearm technology has developed at such a rate to where the standardized style of warfare was not going to work at this point and a lot of the losses that you had with the people during world war one was because they were in such close proximity to each other with these very high powered weapons that are able to just cut through large numbers of people once the film morphs into taking up the full screen, it really brings you into what these people were suffering or going through at the time. And he does a very good job of really showing a steady hand and showing restraint for Peter Jackson in terms of what he kind of did with the Hobbit trilogy versus the Lord of the Rings, where he really just lets the footage, the people talk for themselves. A lot of it is voiceover with various stories from people that were there at the time or soldiers that were there. Some of them didn't survive and some of them did survive. They have notes, letters, things like that. And he uses that to kind of guide you through the narrative of what's going on at this point in history. It is, it's a, it's a moderately paced documentary. I mean, it's about an hour and a half, 45 minutes or so. And it, it does a really good job of putting you in that situation and letting you feel what they're going through. But it doesn't, it doesn't force anything outside of what you see. There's not any kind of push a message or anything like that. It's just a very good story that breaks it down to the most pure elements of what's going on and that is basically just archival footage of the event and people involved in the event and any notes or any any diaries from people that were involved in it to kind of twist and show you the narrative through their eyes. A lot of times it shows the soldiers you know, sleeping or just laying in the trenches and there's mud and they're just nasty and then it'll talk about you know how they would do something for the cleanliness of it or you know we had to we still had to shave every single day we still had to be in uniform we still had to do this so it shows what they're going through in more than just the fighting it's they're still trying to kind of reconcile what's happening with the trench warfare along with that standard that they set in terms of how they should live or need to live. It is a, it's a very good documentary. I, I believe it was nominated for an Oscar last year. It popped up on HBO and I gave it a watch. It's definitely worth watching. And it is, in my opinion, it's one of Peter Jackson's best film and certainly probably his best film since the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, not the Hobbit trilogy. That one, he just let his CGI run amok. While in this one, he just does the barest minimum color correction or color colorization of the older film and it looks really good and it's it's something I would totally recommend if you got the time go over to HBO and give it a watch or you know rent it somewhere if you can find it it's it's, it's very good and it's, it's one of those films that need to be told because it focuses on the people more so than focusing on the war that's going on and you can see what the people are going through more so than seeing the overarching causes reasons or what becomes of with the war because that's not what the focus is. The focus on is the soldiers that, that died there will never 
come back. And that plays into the title of it. They will not grow old. Because regardless, we have this moment. These people captured on film and now updated to 2018, 19 standards. And you can see them and it's, it really shows how, how good the quality of film was back then because we're talking about something that at this point is over 100 years old when he got the film and redid it. And it, it does a very good job of portraying the emotions and what folks were going through at that time. I can't recommend this film enough. It is a phenomenal documentary and certainly one well worth seeing if you are, specifically if you are a history or a war buff, then you've got to give this a watch because it is something that takes that standard war narrative, kind of turns it on its head and makes it a more personalized soldier narrative and you can kind of see what their daily lives were like at this point in World War I. Thank you.